even though I've grown to know the Norwegian culture and the Norwegian culture is a big part of me, I still have felt very South American. And when I come here, I realize that for me to be friendly to everyone, talk to everyone, talk loud, being passionate about things, it's not me being wrong or different. It's me being South American. In Norway, they might call it drama queen, but here we call it passion. I know a lot of different uh, adopted kids, and they're all different. Some of them embrace the Norwegian culture and look at themselves as full-on Norwegians. I've never done that, and I'm never wanting to do that. That's what's different from Norway, when they live like that. That's what I want to experience. But now, when I know both cultures, I can say I got the best from both cultures, which is something I haven't been able to say before, because I didn't know where exactly these parts of me came from. But of course, we always had a suspicion. But it feels good to see that that it's okay. <laughs> I came to Norway when I was about two years old and uh, into a big loving family. My mother has five brothers and my father has one sister. And I want to say, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> the mother and the child. When we got Viviana and I hold her in my arms, it was like she has been there for the first day. Yes. Yes. And we, uh, we have felt that all the time, that she has been ours forever, since she was born. And yes. we never think about uh, that she isn't, uh, in fact, our daughter, but because she is our daughter and will forever be our daughter. When I was young, it was very difficult for me, for me to talk about the fact that I was adopted from Colombia because of the fact that it made me so different from my cousins, children around me, they're all blonde and, yeah. And you go through the normal things that's difficult for children, difficult for teenagers or whatever. And then I had this little extra thing and normal things that you know, people in general don't think about because they know like where you get your nose from, where you get your eyes from, things like that. They look like their birth parents and it's never been a question of anything else. But for me, I couldn't really look at my parents and see, oh yeah, that's where I got this and that from. Although I've got a lot of of them in me, it's it's on the inside and the way I, I act and the way they taught me about life, it's not physical. I guess little things like that is important to know, to be able to create a whole person. The fundamental little things. It seems like it's just irrelevant little things, but it's a big part of, of who you are, which you never ask questions about because it's never an issue. But for people that's adopted, it's everything around you is a reminder of, of that you're different and you're not from here.
Uh, now when I'm older, I don't have an issue with it anymore. I don't have a problem with it because I realized it doesn't really matter. I'm still me, but I still have something missing from my life. Like, what did I do? Who was I with? What actually happened? The two first years of my life, I don't know that. But don't get me wrong, I think Riza is a great, beautiful city. I love my family and I feel home. I do. It's the only culture I know, so it's difficult for me to feel anything else. I've always wanted to come to Colombia to find my roots and my biological parents, but also to find out about the Colombian culture and to understand myself, to understand where I came from, to get a better understanding of the history, I guess, of Colombia and of me, where it all started. I always had the feeling that I came from the mountains. It's the country know. I'm born in. It's the country where my ancestors are. Maybe not me. And yeah, it's it's the country where my color is from. When I decided to come here, people ask me all these questions: Are you ready? Are you ready? that you might not meet your biological parents. Are you ready to meet your biological parents? Are you ready? That's the main question. But I don't think that I can get any more ready. I made a decision to come and that's like the whole, my whole goal. I've been here before, one time in 1995, but then I was only 12 years old, so you look at things differently with the eyes of a child. Um, I'm a few years older than I was in 95. Then I'm already secure about who I am and what I want in life, so it's not really going to affect me in that way. What do you feel now in um, Colombia? Um, it's strange it's to <laughs> think about that this is the place that I was born. So yeah, just the fact that I'm here, I've started the journey. Where? What happens, happens anyway, I can't control it. So stepping on that plane, coming to Colombia is my main goal. I didn't want to focus too much on finding them. I wanted to focus on the fact that I'm coming here and experiencing the country, the people, the culture, the sounds, the smells, the tastes. The language. Hola. Como estas? Muy bien. The food, everything. And if I find them, it will be, of course, it will be good, it will be a bonus, but it's not going to ruin me if I don't find them. Das kann ich dir bald geben, Wie war Harry Gora, hat er
Jag är fortsatt lite skeptisk. Jag tänker att de har inte någon mer information nu än det de hade förra gången jag var här. Men jag ska försöka inte vara så negativ.